I don't drink tea or coffee. I'm sure it's not that bad, right? Cold brew is like the lighter version, right? I'm sure you're wrong. Okay, I'm so excited. Today I'm flying home to Toronto. I was gonna sit beside Nav, I have to brag about this because I wanna acknowledge that I'm a spoiled brat. Like, I want to acknowledge that. I was sitting beside Nav and I've been stressed because the ticket is so expensive, but I was like, yo, history making game, yada yada. Nav calls me, super fan, my uncle, and he goes, yo, I talked to the Raptors, they're gonna give you courtside tickets, and I'm like, I'm sorry, what now? What now? What? Nav hooked it up for your girl, where I got courtside tickets, and I'm shook because one, the tickets are so expensive, but the Raptors are showing me that love is so, like, the city love is real. And so what I did, obviously, I, I wasn't expecting two tickets, I was expecting to buy one, so obviously I called up my mother from boy, and I said, hello, humble the poet because Humble's in New York and he was flying to LA in a few hours and I'm like stop go back to Toronto so we're gonna see if he can switch up his flight He's like I'm so jealous you're going to the game but I was like yo I got another ticket dog fly back to mother from Toronto so we go live our best life but shout out Nav if you don't know who Nav is Nav is a super fan he's been to every single Raptors game my friend Tia her dad and he's such a superstar in Toronto everyone knows him and so like I love him I appreciate him he's so supportive shout out to Raptors yo let me break it down for you, and then I'm gonna get into the mission and all that stuff, but let me just break it down. If you're not a basketball fan, that's fine. That's fine. But let me explain to you what this is. In the history of the Raptors, the history, they have never made it to the finals. Never. If they win this game in Toronto on Saturday, they will go to the finals. It will be the first time in history. The city will be mother effing on one. And right now the series is 3-1, which means that they are ahead of the Bucks. So it's like, it's, I just, I'm trembling. I'm trembling. I can't even, I can't, actually my hand was pretty straight. But the boy is, I'm goddamn dying. Also, a lot of people don't know this. The Raptors are the only team in the NBA from Canada. So all of Canada roots for the, it's a whole mother effing. It's a whole, it's a, I listen, I'm mother effing. I can't, <sighs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Here's a mission for today, my heart. Boom. Get going back to the Raptors, hey! Have one call, have another call. Go through my inbox. Check out some of your Adobe submissions. Work on my NBC show. Pack, get on a flight, fly to Toronto. Oh wait, it's the weekend, so also I guess, go to the game, do a collab shoot. Holy crap, is it this, is, this weekend? It's about to be. Lit. So if you know anything about me, you know that I love doing things today that my tomorrow self will thank me for. I'm obsessed with it. Like, yo, tomorrow, Lily, what can I do to make her life easier? And that's why I really respect decisions that alleviate me from making decisions tomorrow. I want to eliminate as many decisions in my day. So it's just like, I can focus and do work and be productive and be efficient. Like Mark Zuckerberg, for example, wears the same shirt every day. He's like, I ain't got to think about what I'm going to wear. I'm going to wear the same gray shirt. That's what I'm going to do. So in an effort to do that, make less choices, I'm using all of this to justify the stupid crap I'm about to do. Which is this new thing on YouTube where you let the person in front of you decide what to order. Leslie. Also, I forgot the point I was trying to make earlier today when I was excited and losing my mind about the Raptors was that I like to acknowledge that I'm really spoiled because I want to take a moment to recognize that that's a really privileged goddamn thing. Like, oh, I like the Raptors, so I'm gonna get courtside tickets now. Like, that's like super goddamn privileged and so just like. I don't even know how to express it, but it's like this is why I need to do things to help the world because it would be completely unacceptable if I just went through life getting things like this and just being like, I'm good, so peace. No, I think that's why like, I absolutely need to pay it forward and like I hope when you guys see all these things I get to do, you, you know that that's where my heart is at. It's like I fully recognize my privilege and don't for a second think I don't. That's why I'm always going to do what I can do to make other people's lives easier, but like very grateful. I'm very, very grateful. Okay, so I guess the vibe is, I've watched like a few of these on YouTube, and the vibe is that you go to a drive-thru and you just say, hey, I'll take whatever the person in front of me got. Now, I brought Chase along in the back because chances of the person in front of me ordering vegetarian things is very slim, so you get to be the disposal dumpster of the food I can't eat. Yeah. Let's do a Starbucks first. Let's do a Starbucks. This is, this is great for both of us that don't drink coffee. You don't drink coffee? I don't drink coffee. Shut the F up, you drink coffee all the time. No, I drink tea. Same thing. My hope is that the person in front of me or is like some really sweet drink with whipped cream on the top and I can just be like, well, wasn't my choice. That's what I want. I hope that doesn't happen for her. <laughs> <laughs> I want a chai tea latte. That's the only thing I ever get from Starbucks because Starbucks is a ripoff. It's the only thing I like when I sit down there and I do my work. That's how you know it's not a brand deal. <laughs> Alabama, <laughs> sir, please come through for your girl. See those summer favorites, boy? Link up. Here we go. Good also, sign. this is so cringe for me. Why does the internet do these things? Good sign is that there's only one person in the car, so it's not gonna be a big order. Cause I know Unless it's an assistant in Hollywood that's ordering stuff for the whole team. Yeah, sorry, I'm just stopping by from set. Can I get 30 lot? Oh my god, could you imagine? Her broke ass would stop the vlog right now. <laughs> I know. Yeah, 
that much have. money? Not no. that many people watch the vlog. I can't afford this. Stop. Mango dragon fruit Starbucks refreshers. Get that! Alabama, get that! Why am I so nervous? Like, this is so dumb. I shouldn't be this nervous. Really, I'm like having nervous, like, stomach pains right now. I wonder how many internet idiots are doing this in this drive thru right now. I'm gonna go through and she's gonna be like, you're the 20th person today. That's just. <laughs> Girl in front of us is ordering right now. I'm trying to read her lips. A happy meal? No, that's good. <laughs> Hi, love him. Hope you're starting for you today. Hi, how are you? Can I just get the same order as whatever the person in front of me got? So wait, we don't know what it is? No. That's so much anxiety. That's what I'm saying. I'm pooping. What if it's like 50 billion things though? Then it's 50 billion. Things. Okay, it'll be $8.90, thank you. Perfect, okay. thank you. I don't know what it is. Eight ninety seems like it's more than a drink for one person. It has to be like food. No, it's sure Starbucks. It's food. That could be one drink. <laughs> <laughs> it could be half of one drink. It could be a small drink. Um, I hope it's yeah, something vegetarian, yo. Come on, vegetarian. Let's go. LA, my chances are pretty good. Hello, how are you? $8.90. There you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Spinach wrap. Spinach feta wrap. That's healthy. It's vegetarian. Chai tea latte. Yes. Yes. With coconut milk. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, wow, talk about hitting the jackpot, bro. What you wanted and something I can eat? Seriously? Got an iced chai tea latte. I don't usually drink the iced one, but it's a chai tea latte and it's coconut. Not it gonna make my tummy sick. Spinach feta wrap. God, you know what? Good job. Good job. All right, let's hit up a... Uh, Let's hit up a McDonald's. Hi. Right. So, Humble changed his flight. He's meeting me in Toronto. It's gonna be a big vibe. A bigger vibe or a, also a big vibe? We're going to McDonald's right now. I hope that the, if the person don't order fries, we will have to have some conversations about this. I'm hoping it's from fries. I'm hoping for... That's pretty much all I can eat from there. Chase, what do you want? I'm down for anything. I mean, I'm trying to eat healthy, but like it's McDonald's. There's no chance in hell. Yeah. Also, no I will say McDonald's in America, they've, they've never known what a Cinemelt is. Oh. They've never had it. So in oh. Canada, they don't have it in Canada anymore, but for a yeah. certain amount of time, it's yeah. Cinemelt. Woo! It's, it's like Cinnabon, Cinnabon but, but like, it's like... More heated up yeah. and like more soft. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Americans, y'all missing things. out. The, oh my god, we used to get those after rehearsal all the time. What he really means is we used to get them when we were drunk as F after a night of clubbing and we need yeah. some food. I remember rehearsal. rehearsal. <laughs> Make it easy, let go. All right, give me some fries. I want some sweet and sour sauce. If the person in front of me don't get no sauces, it's not gonna be cute. Can I just get the exact same order as the person in front of me? All right, it's gonna Thank be you. a total of 577. Okay, so 577 they said? That's it. Uh, Thank you. Wait, did he just say nuggets? Did the man just say nuggets? Because I'm gonna die. Frig, frig, I'm gonna die. I loved nuggets when I ate meat. Like, loved nuggets. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be a big problem if there's nuggets on my lap right now. Hold on, let's pull over. What we got here? <laughs> Large file! Mm. Did an adult order this? Because. We got four. Four nuggets. Welcome to LA where they're like, this is my cheat day. I'm gonna have four nuggets and never eat again for the month. Get these away from me. Get these away from, oh my God. Nuggets is like, if I ever like, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna eat meat and I'm gonna cheat before I die or something. It's gonna be those those nuggets. They're too goddamn good. It's ridiculous. You like chicken wings too, don't you? Wow, I love, just love chicken wings. Hurts so good. F me, I haven't had McDonald's fries in so long. Best vlog segment ever! Cool, cool so no time. one's in front of us right now, so we can freestyle. Hi, how are you? Good. Okay, so I can't decide what I want, so I'm just gonna get whatever the last order you did was. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. We'll this Dunkin seems like donuts. death. First of all, I want to make it clear I've never had a cold brew in my life, so I don't even know what the f this is. To be honest, I'll try it. Here we go. Hold on. Really? I'll take a sip. Yeah. I don't drink tea or coffee. I'm sure it's not that bad, right? Cold it's brew is like the lighter version, right? I'm sure you're wrong. Yo, don't drink that. That's poison. That's literal poison. That is so bad. Oh my god, that's bad. Oh my god, it tastes like... You know what you clean, the rubber thing you clean the chalkboard with? Like, the, it tastes like that, grinded. This it's is like, the devil's word. Like, I don't understand why people drink coffee. I really don't understand. It literally tastes like bitter water. Oh god, that's really bad. I just took out all of this stuff to donate because my closet has no more space. And Scarborough's having the best time. Wild. You know when you put like stuff by the curb and then raccoons and like scavengers start to like gather around? Alright. <laughs> black, 
my quest. I'm like, oh, those are you two out. I want those. <laughs> There's Supra's in here. Just going through all y'all's Adobe submissions. You guys are so talented, holy crap. I'm like mind blown. So many cool illustrators and like photographers and filmmakers, it's gonna be goddamn hard. So I'm packing, your girl's gonna take a carry-on. One day trip, carry-on makes sense. I'm actually a functional human being because you know, usually I'll be taking 16 pairs of shoes in a big suitcase, but no, carry-on. Mama, you gonna carry me on? Bum bum no, but mama will be back in one day, okay? One day. Dance like no one's watching. And another one. I better drink some water because when the Raptors win tomorrow, if your girl doesn't get drunk as F, my name is not Lily Singh, so I need to get it all prepped. Landed! I made it! Shout outs to my sister Nandani for letting me stay at her place. I'm only here for a few hours and she lives so close to where the game's gonna be, so I could just walk there. Girl hooked up. Also, the girl got a view. Check this out. That's my city, y'all. That's my city! Y'all, I'm having a full day. Just finished my first appointment. The vibes when I land in Toronto, though, every car that passed by is Bhangra, it's reggae, it's so I'm just like, home sweet home. Everybody's just so sweet. They're like, congrats on your show. Show me mad love. Freaking love this city. I'm about to go surprise my friend. So coincidentally, my spontaneous trip to Toronto lined up with her bridal shower. So I'm gonna go surprise her for a little bit before I go get my hair done. Let go. Toronto, what is this? What is this? She was so happy. That was so dope. Really funny. So they were doing this bridal shower quiz like those games you play. One of the questions was if she could invite any celebrity to dinner, who would she invite? Half the people but me. And then I walked into the room like, I'm not a celebrity, I'm a friend. It was like very well timed. I'm about to do something amazing. I'm about to cut my hair, get it trimmed. And are y'all ready for this? This is a long time in the making. I am gonna tell you that I'm getting highlights in my hair. And I only let one group of ladies do all of that to my hair because I tr I literally have like trust issues and there's only this one group of ladies that can do it. And it's Blend Studios. Let's do the damn thing. So every time I come here, this gorgeous lady asks the same question. How much are we cutting off? And like we have here. this conversation like every day. Right so, girl, don't play games. Don't play games <laughs> with me. What do you think? What do you think? We'll clean it up a little bit. Clean it up, give much. me some layers. Yes. I'm gonna close my eyes, pretend I'm not here. You're gonna wake up with hair up to here. Stop it, don't play. <laughs> Does the dye look purple? It's that way so that your hair doesn't look brassy. So it doesn't look brassy? Yep. One day I'm waiting for these people to play me and then just dye my hair purple. Stop it! <laughs> No purple. No purple. I mean... I hate this part. Damn, they really did it for your girl. Cue all the basic old selfies I took. All this rain, not the one. Don't F up my hair. The city is mother effing on one. Shout out to rappers. We here? We gonna turn the F up because history's about to be made today. I'm beyond excited. I'm gonna throw up, I'm so excited. Real talk, real talk, I'm gonna throw up on this court.
it is on one right now. What's good? We the north. What's good? 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 <laughs> It's one day later, we are back in LA, we had a drunk time. Raptors are in the finals, and now I'm gonna spend way too much money and uproot my schedule way too much. Try to go to as many finals games as possible. My boys, Raptors, we did it. Let's see how we did this weekend. Let's do it, we the North, baby!